Good evening from Halifax. It's day three of the 2023 World Junior Hockey Championship. And the only game here in town tonight is Canada against Germany. For Canada, 19-year-old Thomas Milic, who stopped all 10 shots in relief of Benjamin Godreau in the game against Czechia. And for Canada, Dennis Williams trying to get his team to regroup and go back to basics. Straight lines. Manage the puck. His message to his group. Hard yeah, falls there on the four check. So Canada's got a brief five on three here until he gets back into play. Zellweger works back in, drops it back to the door, feeds it back to the score! Dylan Gunther! Power play goal, and Canada leads one to nothing. On the power play, he is a beneficiary of a really nice pass. Zellweger in the edges, loses the four checker, and now he's off to the races. Give and go with right. Nice looking. Connor Bedard's going for a shot, but boy, can he throw it around as well in a prime scoring position. Picked up by Sim. In comes Sim, trying to feed that back and put. Now Mass will knock that away. Batter drops it back, and a hard shot score! Roman Kester sneaks that through, and Germany's tied the game at one. Kester coming late. Bit of an over back check by the Canadians, which is normal. Get back to the front of the net, head up, and he just risks this one down, and that doesn't hit anything and goes right through. Milic. You heard Bob McKenzie talk about you don't need him to be great in net for Canada, just need him to make the saves he's supposed to make. Off it, across the top to Menard. Swings it down to right. The puck bounces back in front in the feet of Fred. The right with a chance. He does score! Shane Wright, power play goal. It's 2 1 Canada. But look at the guys all by themselves. Inside position on the puck in the net, and that is a broken play if there ever was one. <laughs> Into the skates of Gunther, off the skates of Vanderlinde. How Wolf is supposed to follow it, he cannot, but this is what good players do. Puck ends up on their stick, and they get in the back of the net. Sin winds in, he's poked out there by Wah, who's back defending. And now Wah back with it. Great wide to Stanko, but lead pass for Bernard. Connor Bernard works right in, Bernard shoots down! Bernard, it's 3 1 Canada! And they've got the wind in their sails now. You turn the puck over against this group, you're in trouble. Bedard leaks out, he gets the breakaway pass, and it says no doubt whatsoever he's going to score on this play. Nice play by Stan Coven, gets it to his forehand, pivot clean, and just a quick pull it to the glove side, release it, doesn't lose a bit of full momentum on that nice pivot, and beats Wolf cleanly. Walks right out, feeds that back to Clark. Allen has fallen, and Staken shoots that wide pass, it's right back to Bedard, he scores! A great rebounds for Connor Bedard, and he's got back-to-back -back goal. How about this one, as uh, Stankhoven heals this puck terribly, and now uh, Fetahar is going in there to sweep the puck away, he actually chops the hand of Wolf out of the way. He knocks his own goaltender's hand out of the way of the puck. Zellweger. Works it back across to Bernard, walks in and shoots, scores! Bernard, trick for Canada! We've seen this before. This wrister top glove, nothing complex about this play. First of all, give Austin credit for hanging out in front of the net. He knows one's gonna whistle by his ears. But that is a back foot wrister, almost a casual release from Bernard, and there's nothing to it. Goalie's there. They know the shot's coming, they take away the far side of the net, he throws a short side, but it's so accurate, pops off his stick so quickly. And that is three for Connor Bedard, who, it makes, he looks like a sh warm up shots. And they zip past goaltenders. 12 goals as world junior career. He's now tied for third on Canada's all time list with Eric Lindros and Jeff Carter. One behind John Tavares for second. Yeah. Two behind Jordan Eberle for the all time lead. Dean. For Fantilli, works his back in front of belt it down. It's gonna be a penalty against Germany's Banahar. Knocked down Fantilli. Goshen comes across. Banahar goes after him. And Fantilli's hurt. Banahar stepping up here on Fantilli. And does he keep his elbow far enough down? Because Oh, he hits head on head. You can head see the head. oh, you can see the plastic and stickers flying off the helmet for Fantilli. They went head on head. 
After video review, the call on the ice has been confirmed. Number two, Germany has been assessed a match penalty for check to the head. He is ejected from the game. So Badaher is out. And Canada gets a five-minute power play. Here's Bedard. Walks in, keeps it cross. Gunther shoots, scores! Dylan Gunther's got two, and it's six to one. And how about this feed? Takes one guy out, drags another, and Bedard slides it through the seam for Gunther for really a pretty simple one-timer open side. Just hit the target, elevate if you can. Blow apart the camera while you're at it. And Gunther with two. Bedard now with five points on the night. Lines it up, walks in, feeds it back to Clark, who steps it up, scores! Tucked in front! Home dock, we're gonna get a piece of that. And it's seven to one. This one is drifted. I think that hits actually maybe Klein's shin pad. When it's all said and done, this one will end up being Clark's. Yeah, I think yeah. it is 28 white shin pad. No chance for Wolf. And that's the second power play goal on the five minute major. Gunther. Back across to Bedard. Bedard snaps that pass across to Gunther. Gunther, back for Bedard. To Gunther, shoots, scores! Hat track for Dylan Gunther. And they'll heave away again. How about the no look for Connor Bedard? What am I looking at? Not the guy who's getting it. That's Gunther's second of the game. That one worked so well. Why don't we go back and blow apart the camera while you're at it? Oh. That's his second. Here's the top of the two-man game. We're going through, we're going back, we're going through, we're going back. It's like no one's else on the ice but 16 and 11, and Gunther will make a living sitting shooting one-timers from over there in the face-off circle. 8-1 Canada, three power play goals on this five-minute man advantage. That is not done yet to make that one a goal, and he's tying records left and right. Get a chance in front, score! Stankovic on the board. That's nine. And it doesn't matter in the context of the game, but maybe the context of the tournament. Getting Stankovic on a goal. It's a broken play, unfortunately, turned over on the attempted clear by Sim. He puts it right on Stankovic's stick with four seconds left in the period. Four check from Gauthier causing the turnover. Quick release. Cannon needs these guys feeling good about themselves. He, they need Gauthier. They need Fantilli. They need Stankovic. And... Smile says happiness for Canada. 9-1. Power play clinic through two periods. Don't be chasing more goals. They will come. There's a shot score. A stop chuck. And that's 10. Faceoffs one. Walk in the line and a player release of stop chuck. Good job. Dragging all the check it over to the left side, getting it back to the right. The stop chuck. Corrals, wheels, and fires and Plenty of traffic in front, and poor Babilis, welcome to the game. You, my friend, are going to have your first ever New Year's Eve in Halifax. Yes, <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Wah works it and shoots, scores! Joshua Wah! His first. Bedard from his own end, attacks the middle, breaks down the defense, draws everyone to him. Wow, a little mishandle into the stick of Joshua Roth. The Canadians are leaving their record at one and one. They'll take on Austria tomorrow night. Germany will play Austria the next night. After falling to 0 and 2. Connor Bedard ties the Canadian record with seven points in a game. He's now tied for second all time in Canadian goals with 12. Amazing. It's amazing. But he's got a long way to go. Just and all of this, as you said, before he gets drafted.